I'm called, what, what I call, mm -hmm. a not again child. Because the last of a big family, when the mother says to the neighbours that she is yet again with child, mm -hmm. they all say, not again. Um, the other thing that, that sort of fascinated me, I watched your show, Jim Will Fix It. Yes. And uh, was that your idea, the show? Yes. It was. Yes. How did you How did you come up with that idea? Well, actually, again, I was walking down a corridor, this time at the BBC. Right. And a man said, hey, you've been fixing things for people all your life. Why don't we put pictures to it and make a show? And I uh -huh. said, yes, all right. We'll call it Jim Will Fix It. And he said, OK. And we just passed like that. And that's how you did it. And that was it. And oh it's it now run for 18 years. And it's been number one in its ratings for 18 years. And we are well on the way for our 19th right. year, which starts at Christmas mm -hmm. uh, as we speak. How did you get involved in, in this type of thing? I mean, get involved with the spinal hospital? And well, with that particular it? hospital, yes. I just called the 20 odd years ago to give mm -hmm. some prizes away. You did? And that's all. Got involved. Had to go back to see the patients I'd made friends with on that visit right. the following week, and then I went back the following week, and I went back the following week, and they said, listen, how about, because they realised I might just be useful to them, and they said, how about we give you a, a room so that when you come here you can stay? Mm -hmm. I said, where's the room? They said, in the nurse's home. <laughs> I said, you're on. You're on, I said. <laughs> And I've lived in a room 12 feet long and 8 feet wide uh -huh. for the last 24 years in the nurse's home, and it's hell.